Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. We do lots of great stuff here. If you're not new here, welcome back. Now, as you can see, this setup is looking real popping or whatever. The camera's looking real crispy, right? And the lights are looking really nice, and the audio is much clearer. I'm really just trying to bring you guys quality towards the end of 2019 and beyond. <laughs> But um, yeah, digression aside, I know you saw that title and I know it's very triggering, but y'all, there are a lot of young men and young women and other that are looking for love in all the wrong places. And I'm here to give you all some tips so that you can be prepared to meet the person of your dreams. Now I identify as straight and I'm also a natural born woman. Other people might be more comfortable with the term cisgender. However, I prefer not to impose such labels upon myself. I'm just going to stick to natural born, but the things, the themes I'm discussing in this video apply to everyone across the gender spectrum. So whether you're a man or a woman, transgender, genderless, etc., etc., this applies to you too. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video and let's try and find the people of our dreams. <laughs> Almost forgot y'all, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you like the video. Let me know what you want to see next. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. And last but never least, please subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Now, no more false starts. Let's actually do this. Now, if you guys don't already know, I live in Nigeria. I was born and raised in the States, but I moved to Nigeria in my early 20s for the first time. And I'm here experiencing the culture as somebody who is ethnically of the culture, but who was born and bred abroad. So it's been really interesting. And there are many things I've noticed, especially in this society. So the first thing I'd like to point out that I have seen in particular is that a lot of women, and again, I'm speaking from the perspective of a straight woman. So I'm going to be referring to that a lot, you guys. Now, a lot of women are looking for men who have already made it. Now, most of the men who have already made it are already married. So that's already like a ew, 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 red flag. <laughs> now, jokes aside, it's really not practical if you're in your mid twenties to expect someone who's a little bit older than you, a little bit younger than you or your age to be totally made in life. This is a really formative period for all of us. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean look for somebody who's jobless or be satisfied with somebody who does not have ambition. It means be prepared, be open to growing with someone and building with someone. Now, I personally, I'm not a lazy girl. I work very, very hard. I know you guys are probably like, girl, but you don't even give us YouTube videos. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm working on it, which is why I'm bringing this to you right now. So thumbs up for another video. <laughs> Though I'm extremely hardworking and very ambitious, I don't expect to find a guy who already has everything he's meant to have. I myself am growing and I'm ready to give somebody room to grow and also to grow together. That's really important and really beautiful. So ladies, again, do not necessarily go for the guy that's already made it. If you're looking for that guy, you may not find him. There are a few that will definitely, that's for sure. But there are a lot of brilliant young men with bright futures that are looking for somebody to journey towards that future with. Now, the number two reason why you may be having trouble finding a life partner is that your primary concern is marriage. Now, for me personally, I'm the type of young woman that marriage is like literally <laughs> not even remotely my primary concern. My major concern right now is achieving, succeeding, fulfilling what it is that I am meant to fulfill in this life. Now, while I consider marriage to be a very important and sacred institution, I simply do not have any desire to marry right now. I like to kind of go with the flow where relationships and relationships that could potentially lead to marriage are concerned. Now, this is something, interestingly enough, that a lot of guys pick up on. Recently, I was FaceTiming this really attractive guy, right? Actually, like, anyway, I won't tell you when, but just not too long ago. <laughs> and we were just talking casually about our views on relationships and everything like that. And he actually told me that a huge turnoff for him is when he can sense a girl just wants to be in a relationship. 
in theory, I understand. I can't really relate because I personally have never really desired to be in a relationship immediately or anything like that. Or just actually, no, never. I never have. I've never desired to be in a relationship. However, I do understand what it can feel like to be either lonely or be under a lot of pressure to produce a marriage, which is really unfair and can do a lot to people psychologically. Because whether you marry at 20 or 30 or 40, you are not invalid, you are not broken, you are not damaged, there is not something wrong with you. I think that relationships need to take their own pace to truly develop. I've personally found that the most fruitful romantic relationships come when you least expect it. Ultimately, you need to be very comfortable with who you are and the right person will come into your life. And that little bit of aloofness and nonchalance will make the chase much more exciting for the men that are pursuing you, girl. And guy, and genderless people or gender fluid people that are watching. This applies to everybody. Again, I'm talking from the perspective of a straight woman that's black and natural born, aka cisgender, for those who prefer that term. But um, yeah, so now I know I've said a lot, but I'm not trying to shame anybody who desires to be in a marriage. Marriage is really, really beautiful and there's nothing wrong with desiring to be married. However, it should not be something that consumes you or completes you. It should be something that adds to an already brilliant life. Number three, you're not actively doing anything. Now, ladies, 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 I know it's really, really nice to have a guy, you know, catering to you, doting on you, buying you everything you want, but fam. The same way you would not go for a man who's jobless is the same way a lot of guys would not go for a young woman who's not doing anything. So please, invest in yourself, work on yourself, do something with your life, work towards something. Now I do understand that the conditions of this society, Nigerian society, are extremely difficult so it's not necessarily easy for any individual to make something of oneself without a certain amount of connections. I feel that pain too um, with my own life and everything like that. It's been a lot trying to strive and make something of myself in this society. But if you believe, if you work hard at it, if you find a niche, you can do it, definitely. There's entrepreneurship, there's careers, there's trade, and so much more. A lot of men and women in this society especially rely on multiple streams of income in order to thrive. Not just survive, but thrive. Now ladies, if there's any advice I can give to you, it's this. Do not wait for someone to come and take care of you. Be your biggest source of financial support. It will make you the prized game as opposed to making you the hound, so to speak. Number four, your environment is not conducive to finding a suitable partner. Now this is something I can talk about all day. It's currently something that's plaguing a lot of my peers and could have plagued me had I not moved to a different area at a very young age. Now to illustrate this, I'm going to give you guys a brief anecdote. Now I grew up in Columbia, Maryland. It's like a really great place for young families, for children, you know, for rearing families. The education system's great, lots of great schools, high schools, middle schools, etc., etc., etc. Now while it's a great place for families that are young and families that are very mature, it's not really an ideal place for people that are in their early to mid to late 20s or even early to mid 30s that are single and successful. If you're trying to find Bay, you're not gonna find Bay in no Columbia, Maryland. Like, it's just, nah, son, nah. So, <laughs> the places in Maryland they're teaming with very young and very successful people are places like Silver Spring, Bethesda, Washington, D.C., <laughs> some parts of Virginia, and yeah, those kinds of places. Some of my peers still live in our childhood locale and are struggling to find suitable partners because of course the pickings are very slim. If they're not settling down with people we went to school with, they're just not settling down. If you want to find a partner, ideally you need to be in an environment where there are actually people your age, people that are successful, and people that are actually actively working towards their career goals. You need to settle in areas where there's a high concentration of working single people. Here in Nigeria, there are a lot of young single people all over Lagos and Abuja. 
and I live in both places so <laughs> I meet a lot of people you guys it's, it's very interesting that short digression aside if you guys want to hear more about that let me know um I'll make a video but you have to comment and let me know you want to see that and I do have some videos here one about dating Nigerian guys another about some of my club experiences but anyway I'll just make a playlist you guys check that out but again digression aside you're probably not gonna find the man of your dreams or person of your dreams in a club so if you want to meet people please 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 go to places that actually interest you go to events that fit who you are and just try to mingle you'll meet a lot of very interesting people that way and it's very likely that if you're comfortable with who you are you're confident you're unafraid the right kinds of men will be approaching you trust me number five now this one is gonna trigger a lot of people especially people in this country but there are a large number of people that are simply not meant to be married yeah i said it come and beat me <laughs> guys i'm playing but anyway let's get into why i said this now there are people that simply do not have the desire to marry or procreate and they're being forced every day like hey why aren't you married yet hey don't you think you need to get married so you can start having children it can be really 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 freely damaging mentally to try and force those types of people into unions that are not going to satisfy them and are ultimately going to destroy them and their partners now you might be one of those people know that there's nothing wrong with you if you do not desire to marry and again there's no reason to force yourself and potentially wind up marrying someone making that person unhappy then having children and rearing the children with a heart full of contempt it doesn't make any sense now disclaimer your mind may change down the line but if that's not where your head or your heart is at right now there's no reason for you to try and make it go there seriously like do what makes you happy and if you are very comfortable being by yourself be by yourself there are also a lot of people who desire to have children but do not want to be married now fam no judgment for me is 2019 if that's what you desire to do there are plenty of ways to go about doing that in a safe way now you could adopt which is great because there are a lot of children that are unfortunately unwanted that will go to loving homes via adoption ideally you could also consider in vitro fertilization which is a way to actually give birth to a child that has your dna without a husband i mean you technically do still need a man because the sperm is going to come from someone but you don't need to actually hold anyone responsible but yourself there are some other methods i'm sure that i just don't know about but do your research please and determine what's going to be best for you and a child because when you do decide to have a child or more you're responsible for one or more human beings aside from yourself so that's a huge responsibility and something that you need to consider very very carefully before going those routes that are a bit non-traditional now i say non-traditional in quotations because i don't want to belittle anyone or offend anyone who does decide to go these routes because again i have no qualms with it i do not judge and i feel that ultimately we as human beings need to do what makes us happy your life is your own life now to piggyback off of what i just stated i know that especially in a society like this one in nigerian society a lot of people will question the morality of those routes however i have not done enough deep thinking really to determine my own stance on those things and i'm not entirely sure what i want to do with my own life where marriage and children are concerned um i think i have some theories as of right now but my mind may change down the line so i don't want to say anything with too much finality i just want to focus on bettering myself right but guys i keep digressing oh my gosh <laughs> stop it zara but yeah you guys sorry comment every time i digress let me know like to get back on track please thank you love you but um yeah this platform is really diverse and i respect everyone's opinions everyone's beliefs and how other people decide to conduct themselves and their lives, which is why I'm proposing these other options. I know that all of us are different here and I want all of you to know that I love you and that this is a safe space. You can feel comfortable to be yourself on my platform, on my channel. So yeah, guys, anyway, let's go on to the next one. Now, number six is very near and dear to my heart and I think that's probably why it's the last one. And that is simply that you may not necessarily be comfortable with yourself. 
or you'll calm down. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> sorry guys, that's my dog. If you follow me on Instagram, which you totally should, you will see him from time to time. I literally don't even know what breed he is. I'm like not necessarily a dog person, but we like love each other so much. So yeah, if you want to see more pictures of Oreo, just follow me on my Instagram. Anyway, guys, I keep getting off topic. I guess that just goes to show I'm really comfortable with who I am. <laughs> okay, dry jokes aside, let's get back to this. <laughs> now, I personally am such an introvert. I sincerely enjoy being with myself, by myself, pretty much 24 seven. I do not desire much human interaction. And when I do desire it, it's because I have a genuine love for people. And aside from that, I genuinely enjoy observing people, not just how they respond to others, but how they respond to me also, right? Like that's one of my favorite pastimes. Like I can literally get dressed up and go to a party just to like watch people. I'm literally saying all of this just to let you guys know I'm very comfortable being with myself. And that's something that a lot of people can pick up on and they're drawn to me because of that. Now, the only times I've truly felt like I've needed other people are when I desire to be amongst the people that I love, maybe with a significant other, with my sister, with my other loved ones. Um, aside from that, I'm, I'd rather be by myself. You need to have an inner peace when you are with yourself. There shouldn't be a discomfort when you're with only yourself for extended periods of time. No matter how extroverted you are, no matter how charismatic, no matter how introverted you are. And I know I've already touched on this, but there are many different types of personalities. But if you want to find peace in a union, in a relationship, in a marriage, you need to be very comfortable with who you are. It should be something that even comforts the people around you. So basically, when you're comfortable with yourself, when you're very fine with being with yourself, you don't depend on other people for your happiness. And this is super important. In my previous relationship, actually, my significant other told me that I need to be wary of not depending on him for my happiness. And I've never been that type of person, but when you love somebody very deeply, it's easy to kind of like become really engrossed in a relationship. While that's beautiful, while that kind of deep love is really, really profound, it's also important to at least be able to take a step back and know that you have to be your biggest comfort. While a significant other can be a great source of comfort, it can be really draining in a relationship if that's your only source of happiness. That kind of behavior, that kind of thing can also lead to ultimately the breakdown of a really, really beautiful relationship because there's no respite for either party. If another person feels like they need to constantly keep you happy, that other person is going to become tired and eventually want to find a way out. It's just that simple. And it can be really, really heartbreaking. You could lose something that is perfect, that is beautiful, simply because you do not know how to be happy within yourself. The happiness, the joy that another individual adds to your life, again, I've said this already in a different way, it should not be a completion. It should never complete you. It should merely be an addition. It should be something that adds a layer to your life. Not even the icing on the cake, but an extra candle or some sprinkles. It shouldn't be anything that's essential for that cake to be a cake. You feel me? Now I've said a lot and I've said it pretty passionately and I'm sure it's probably not what you expected from that kind of title, but all these things are very, very true. There's nothing wrong with desiring to be married. There's nothing wrong with desiring that kind of a deep union. But if you are desiring it for the wrong reasons or if you are not satisfied with who you are, or if you have unrealistic expectations, then of course there's no way you're going to find satisfaction in that type of union. There's no way that you're going to find a marriage that is truly pure, that is truly supportive, that builds both you and your partner up. Now, human beings will let you down. We are imperfect beings in perfectly made vessels. It's just life. So ladies, gentlemen, and all other genders, and those that identify with several genders. Please do not invest your hopes and dreams in any individual. Invest them in yourself, first and foremost, forever and always. If you're your biggest fan, if you're your biggest support system, the right person 
will come and will be a helper to you, a comfort to you, a partner in life. A marriage is a partnership. So if you're looking for that kind of a special partnership, please, please, please listen to everything I've said very carefully. Now, I personally like y'all, I know I be talking a lot at you. I'm not perfect. I've made my own mistakes in life. And of course, being young and loving, you're definitely going to misstep. But I can say without a shadow of a doubt that I don't regret anything and that I'm pretty proud of how I've conducted myself in life simply because ultimately I've been true to myself and that's very, very important. And as a result of me being true to who I am, nobody's ever been able to disrespect me or undervalue me significantly. It's just not possible. Like, <laughs> who's gonna come and talk to me anyhow? It's not, no, it's not a thing. Anyway, now I've said a lot and of course i'm living in nigeria and this is basically a response to that and nigeria puts a lot of pressure on women especially to perform however you don't need to fall victim to that crap <laughs> it's ridiculous it's extremely unrealistic and this is 2019 if we want the patriarchy to die we need to kill it ourselves so ladies do not cut men any type of slack now it is not our responsibility to rear men that have sense, their mothers and their fathers should have done that. But if we do not allow them to disrespect us, there is no way that they will not get their acts together. Ultimately, we determine how people respond to us and if we refuse to take their nonsense, the wrong people will run very, very quickly in the other direction. I guarantee you, like I get approached by a lot, a lot of men. and the most ridiculous ones always realize that we're simply not in the same class when i respond to them in a way that lets them know i'm not ready to accept any kind of disrespect the men that i have allowed into my life with greater depth actually have an immense amount of respect for me and who i am and they go to great lengths to ensure that i am satisfied simply because i refuse to disrespect myself so if you guys want more stories again of like, you know, guys <laughs> and chatting to a lot of very sexy guys in this Nigeria, let you girl know. I got stories for days, like <gasps> for days. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really informative. This is something I'm very passionate about and I'm extremely grateful because my parents do not force me or push me to be looking for no man. Their major concern in my life is my success. And that is something that has made me a really formidable young woman. So if I can impart some of that to you guys, even though I'm obviously still learning too, I'm really, really, really happy and so grateful. But yeah, guys, I'm getting long-winded as usual. Comment down below though. Let me know if there's anything I forgot and please share with me how this video makes you feel. You know, you're really special to me and I love you. So I hope to see you in my next video and <laughs> Yeah, I'm ta ta for now. It's so exciting. Lost in the mood, got feelings for you, girl, you're so inviting.